Linda Ronstadt, the legendary American singer, is widely recognized for her extraordinary vocal prowess and diverse musical career, spanning multiple genres. Her dating life has always been a topic of interest, as she's been linked romantically to several notable people. But what sets her apart is her steadfast decision to never marry. In this video, we'll take a look at the famed singer's dating life. So stick around as Facts First presents Linda Ronstadt Confesses Why She Never Married. See her now. Linda and John Boylan Linda had a significant professional and personal relationship with music producer John Boylan. Their collaboration spanned several decades and played a crucial role in shaping Ronstadt's successful career. They met in the late 60s when Boylan became her producer and manager. Their partnership flourished as they worked together on a series of influential albums that showcased Ronstadt's remarkable vocal talent and versatility. Boylan's keen understanding of her musical style and his ability to bring out the best in her performances were instrumental in her artistic growth. The collaboration produced a string of critically acclaimed and commercially successful albums, including Heart Like a Wheel, Prisoner in Disguise, and Simple Dreams. These albums propelled Ronstadt to new heights of fame and established her as one of the leading female artists of her generation. Ronstadt and Boylan became romantically involved and remained in a committed relationship for several years. But sadly, it eventually came to an end. Despite their personal separation, they continued to collaborate professionally and maintained a friendship and respect for each other's talents. Following their romantic split, Boylan continued to work with Ronstadt as a producer on some subsequent albums. Boylan's influence and production skills helped shape the sound and direction of Ronstadt's music, making them a formidable creative team. Linda and J.D. Souther Linda also had a significant relationship with singer-songwriter J.D. Souther. Ronstadt and Souther's relationship blossomed during the 1970s, a period of immense creativity and collaboration in the music industry in general. They met in the vibrant scene of L.A. and quickly formed a deep bond that extended beyond romance. Their connection was based on a shared love for music, as well as a mutual respect for each other's talent and creativity. Souther's songwriting skills perfectly complemented Linda's incredible vocal abilities. Together, they crafted some of Ronstadt's most memorable hits, including Faithless Love, Simple Man, Simple Dream, and Prisoner in Disguise. Souther's poignant and introspective lyrics, combined with Ronstadt's powerful and emotive voice, created a magical musical synergy. The two also enjoyed a deep emotional connection. Their relationship was characterized by a genuine affection and understanding for one another. They supported each other's artistic endeavors and embarked on several joint projects, with Souther contributing his songwriting expertise to Ronstadt's albums. Unfortunately, their romantic connection eventually came to an end. Despite the breakup, they maintained a strong friendship and continued to collaborate on various musical projects. Linda and Albert Brooks Linda also had a notable relationship with actor and filmmaker Albert Brooks. Ronstadt and Brooks first crossed paths in the mid-1970s during a time when both of their careers were gaining momentum. Their connection grew through a shared sense of humor and a mutual admiration for each other's work. Ronstadt's incredible vocal abilities and Brooks's wit and comedic talent made them an intriguing pair. Their relationship, while not as publicly documented as some of Ronstadt's other romances, endured for several years. The details of their time together remain largely private, allowing them to maintain a level of privacy away from the spotlight. While they eventually went their separate ways romantically, they remained friends and continued to support each other's artistic endeavors. Linda and George Lucas Linda also dated renowned filmmaker George Lucas. Their relationship flourished during the late 70s and early 80s when they were both at the height of their careers. Ronstadt and Lucas, known for creating the groundbreaking Star Wars franchise, formed a connection that blended their shared passions for art, music, and storytelling. Their relationship transcended the boundaries of their respective industries as they found common ground in their artistic endeavors. While the two were known to be romantically involved, they also maintained a certain level of privacy and discretion. Both of them valued their independence and were dedicated to their respective careers. Their relationship brought together two influential figures in the entertainment industry. With Ronstadt's powerhouse vocals captivating audiences and Lucas's groundbreaking filmmaking captivating the world of cinema, 
After dating Ronstadt, Lucas maintained his admiration for her talent and even credited her as one of the inspirations behind the character of Princess Leia in the Star Wars franchise. Ronstadt's strong-willed and independent persona resonated with Lucas, and her influence can be seen in the strong female characters he created. Linda and Jerry Brown Linda also had a high-profile relationship with Jerry Brown, the former governor of California. Their love affair blossomed during the 1970s and captured the attention of both the public and the media. Brown, a charismatic and politically ambitious figure, was serving his first term as governor when he met Ronstadt. The couple's relationship quickly became a topic of intrigue and fascination as it brought together two prominent figures from different realms, music and politics. Their relationship thrived amidst the backdrop of the cultural and political movements of the era. Ronstadt's music resonated with the spirit of the times, and Brown's progressive policies aligned with the societal shifts taking place in California and the nation. However, like many high-profile relationships, they eventually parted ways. While the exact reasons for the separation remain private, their split garnered attention and speculation from the media and public. They both continued on in their careers, Ronstadt remaining an influential and beloved figure in music, and Brown continued his political journey, serving multiple terms as governor. Linda and Two Comedic Geniuses in the early 80s, after she and Jerry Brown split up, Linda spent time with two of the top comedy icons in movie history. The first was Bill Murray. While not much is known about the relationship, it is said the two were an item in the early part of the decade. Then, in 1983, she met budding comedian Jim Carrey. This was long before Carrey's breakthrough in movies like Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, The Mask, and Dumb and Dumber. But perhaps she could sense the talent and charisma that the rest of the world later learned of, because the two reportedly dated for around eight months in 1983. At one point, Carrie was quoted as saying of Linda, she's an incredible human being. Marriage was off the table. With all these talented and charismatic men in her life, you might think Linda would have settled down at least once and gotten married. But the singer was never interested in the institution. In fact, in a 2019 interview with the Washington Post, she flat out said that while she was a talented artist, she definitely didn't have any talent for marriage. She even added, quote, I don't like to compromise. If I want a pink sofa and someone doesn't want a pink sofa, I'm not going to go for that. I want the pink sofa. So clearly, Linda has had a life full of romance and love, but has never been compelled to walk down the aisle. And we think that's perfectly great. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know about these relationships that Linda Ronstadt had, despite never getting married? What are your favorite Linda Ronstadt songs? Let us know in the comments section below.